Hello there, so um, today we're just going to briefly talk about a problem that can uh, affect um, UPVC doors with multi-point locks uh, fitted in the uh, split spindle uh, arrangement uh, where the outside and inside handle are not fixed and they work independently. Uh, this is also known as the uh, night latch function of arrangements on these uh, types of doors. And uh, what can happen is that uh, because of the uh, night latch function uh, with these doors, uh, when you just pull them shut, uh, the, um, the night latch engages. So you, even though the multi-point system is not engaged at that point, uh, you simply can't uh, push the handle down and open the door and get back in. You, you actually need a key uh, to operate the latch to get back in. Uh, now what often happens is that uh, the key gets left on the inside and, uh, and um, um, the, uh, the householder gets locked out and uh, understandably the householder assumes that uh, if there is another member of the household who has a spare key uh, the spare key can simply be used to, um, to just um, operate the lock and uh, get back into the house, which, which is an understandable assumption for, for somebody who's not familiar with how these locks work. Uh, now, unfortunately, in reality, um, because of the way these cylinders, these Euro cylinders um, are set up, uh this uh this cam that that uh, that turns to operate the uh, locking uh, uh the lock when you turn the key uh it which uh which side of the the uh, the cylinder the cam is engaged on uh depends on obviously which side the key is inserted from so uh when you insert a key from say let's say when there's a key on the inside uh, this means that the uh, the this part of the cylinder is engaged to the cam and therefore can operate the cam, but obviously the outside cylinder is at this point disengaged. Uh, and, and what happens is when you put a key in from the other side, what would be the outside, uh, the tip of the key actually pushes like a mini sort of spindle mechanism to disengage this side of the cylinder from the cam and engage this side, which means that now this side, it's a bit sticky, this side will operate the, uh, the cam and uh, this side will, will not move. Now, if, if a key has been left on the inside, uh, this, with, the, with most cylinders, providing the key has been left in exactly the upright position, you can actually use the outside key to give it like a bit more force than what you would normally uh, use to put the key in and actually push. You do need a bit more force and the key does need to be exactly in the upright position, but you can generally push. It's not working, let's see. You can generally speaking, push the, 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 key, uh, the key out. Uh, I don't know if that appeared on the video uh, very clearly, but that key has now pushed out a little bit and the okay uh it's not worked very well let me start again it hasn't worked very well uh the, it, it like i said it doesn't always work and it's kind of good <laughs> that uh, that's an example of it not working but um let me try it again so let's pretend this is the inside and the key is in there i think what was this is a bit a bit of a sticky lock i think that's not helping but let's try again so let's pretend this is the inside and this is the outside so you've got the spare key it's in exactly the upright position let's see if we can push it through so yeah there you go that time it pushed through quite easy so i'll just do that again outside and you can see uh, it pushing through on the on the uh, on the lock on what would be the inside now as i say that that as you just saw it was kind of good demonstration really it, it doesn't always work very easily with some cylinders it, it won't work at all and also very importantly that will only work if the key is in exactly the upright position because it, if the key is turned it has been left sort of slightly turned then it, it doesn't matter how hard you push on this outside key that inside key will just not move I mean you could hit that with a hammer 
and unless you've managed to completely break the inside of the lock in which case the jam will uh, the lock will jam anyway you just will not be able to push push that push that key forward uh, that technique will only wa work if the key has been left in exactly the upright position and even then as you can see again it's, it's not always very easy it, it can be very sticky but sometimes it just goes like that so uh, th th there, there you have it uh, if, if, if you find yourself in this in the situation if, if you're lucky if the key on the inside has been left in exactly the upright position uh, you know with a bit of jiggling around you may well be able to sort of push it through uh, and then use obviously get get use the outside key normally then to get back into your uh, property um, if, uh, if if it's been left in the turn position you, you, you definitely won't be able to do that uh, if that is the case you will need the service of the locksmith so uh, if, if you do find yourself in this situation uh, please feel free to give us a call uh, our number sh should be appearing on the top of the video as well as the link to the web website uh, we've got specialist tools we'll be able to come and get that door open for you without any damage uh, you won't need a, a new lock or new keys uh, and uh, you know we like to think we're very competitively priced so um, we would uh, we'd love to hear from you if you're in this uh, situation so um, hope that was helpful we, we often get um, calls from customers where you know um, they're saying well you know what, what what's going on because they're understandably assuming that if they have a key they should be able to get back in but uh, with the way these um, these um, euro cylinders and some other cylinders work uh, that's uh, like we say unless the key is in exactly the upright position uh, you just won't be able to do that unfortunately um, so as I say, I hope that was helpful I hope that's you know that's given a bit of an insight to how these things work um, just uh, a couple more points or one more point I should say uh, if you do think the key is on the inside is in the upright position and you're trying to uh, to push it through do be careful we have had reports of uh, people hurting their hands trying to do this so you know um, you know if it, what we would say is like give it give it a, a good shove a bit of a jiggle if it goes it goes good uh, if if not uh, it probably is being left in a slightly turned position and it won't go because uh, for some reason the people generally do tend to um, leave the key at a slight turn uh, so uh, so generally speaking it, the key will be at a slight turn in which case you just will not be able to put push that key through um, so as we say I hope that was helpful um, just as a final note uh, we've um, recently introduced a dedicated uh, Yate service uh, to be able to get to our customers in Yate uh, quicker uh, funnily enough, we seem to attend to quite a few of these types of lockouts in Yate. I'm, I'm not suggesting that uh, the people of Yate are any more prone to getting locked out. I think that's simply because um, uh, there's a lot of these um, UPVC type doors with these types of locks fitted in, the, in that area. Uh, so uh, we still operate uh, on, that, on the same central telephone number, which should be at the top of the screen. Uh, but we've also got a, a, a dedicated part of our website um, uh, set up to uh, sh uh, to showcase that our new Yates service. And if you, if you are watching this video in Yates or the surrounding area and you'd like to have a look at that part of the website, uh, the link uh, should be appearing uh, shortly at the bottom. So, uh, as always, we, we, we hope uh, that the video w was helpful uh, and uh, you know, we, we do hope to be bringing you uh, more such videos based on uh, you know, common questions and, and stuff that we get, get asked uh, uh, by our customers, etc. So, I um, hope that was helpful. Okay, bye-bye.